Hello all and welcome back to the Pipe Cottage. I am smoking a clay pipe today. And uh, I don't think I've ever smoked a clay pipe on one of my videos. But I'm doing so now. And in it I have Bagpiper's Dream uh, from uh, Rattrays. Picked it up at the Briary uh, this past week when I went to... Uh, Mississippi. A little moist tobacco, but it's getting along fine. And I want to uh, talk about pipe smoking accessories today. I don't think I've ever made a video about that, which is sort of astonishing. I just finished writing an article about it and wanted to tell you that uh, the article that I'm going to be writing about various and sundry issues, whatever's on my mind, including pipe smoking. I'm moving all that to Substack. And so the, we're go, we, it, it, the Pipe Cottage website uh, is going to be shutting down because um, we can do far more through Substack now than what we can through a traditional website. And um, the title of our Substack uh, channel, or whatever it's called, I'm very new to this, but we're figuring it out, is the Pipe Cottage Journal. And so it will be a series of articles on various and sundry topics that are interesting to me and interesting to a large degree of people who uh, have been following us for the past two or three years. hard to keep this tobacco lit today uh, but anyway I want to talk about pipe smoking accessories and uh, if you don't mind I'm gonna put that pipe down for just a minute so I can focus on uh, really talking to you and I'm gonna read from a few of my notes that I wrote in this article um, so pipe smoking accessories I, pipe smoking is fun it's supposed to be fun uh, it's a hobby that adds a great deal of interest to our everyday life um, modern living has become so high-paced, so mundane, uh, it, it, it leaves many of us wanting far more, far more out of life. And sometimes more is the realization that there is a part of us that, you know, can only be filled by God's love and God's glory. But I'm not here to preach today, I'm not getting on that topic, but uh, people tend to fill their schedule with activities that involve either work or play. You have uh, a part of your life that's come compartmentalized into work, and then you've got everything else, and whether it's family time, uh, time with your pipe, that, that's what people call downtime, I guess, but I consider that to be uh, play. Uh, so, and pipe smoking to me is a playful thing. It should be, it should be fun. It's a playful pastime. Part of what makes pipe smoking playful is all the cool stuff we get to go along with it. The accessories that we as pipe smokers get to enjoy as a part of our hobby. Now, pipe smoking accessories should be personal. They should be functional and of high quality. I don't think, in, I don't believe in doing things halfway. Uh, I'm not the kind of man who will go into something and, uh, just really do it halfway. I don't like that. I don't. I, if, if I'm going to be smoking a pipe, I want to have the best pipes I can afford. I want to have the best accessories I can afford, and I want everything to be just so. Now, first of all, of course, everybody knows that if you're smoking a pipe, you need good tampers and good lighters. Uh, a tamper, in my opinion, reflects one's personality. And uh, it reflects one's personality more than you might think. I can't tell you the amount of times when I have carried a tamper. And this one here happens to be made out of uh, some kind of silver. And uh, it was gifted to me. And it, it's handmade, beautiful. Can't see it real good on the camera, I'm sure. But I've got several tampers that were crafted and given to me by people who follow the pipe cottage. And I'm so thankful for that. But th th I've been out in public many times and I'll be tamping the pipe, and um, people want to know where that tamper comes from. 
it's more than a conversation piece. It, it just like the pipe, the tamper has a history b- b- behind it. Uh, and so I, I think that we really need to pay attention to all the little small details uh, in all aspects of our life, including the pipe smoking hobby. Uh, now, some of my tampers are made out of copper, uh, pewter, hardwoods, and I know some people will use anything that they've got around the house, uh, a golf tee, uh, a, the head of a nail, perhaps somebody is using their finger. I've seen people tamp with their finger quite often. I don't really like doing that myself, but uh, there are a myriad of different different tamper options out there in uh, just as many options as there are different kinds of pipes that you can buy. So I think that every small aspect of pipe smoking needs to reflect the gentlemanly art of the hobby, the gentlemanly art of it, even down to the smallest detail. So people light their pipes in various ways. Uh, I tend to prefer an I.M. Corona, old boy style. I love the way this works. And of course, you've got people who will use matches, those little big lighters, any kind of cheap drugstore lighter. Uh, during my <laughs> trip to um, Alabama and Mississippi this past week, I was planning on flying down there. And so when I, I changed my mind ultimately, but I was planning to fly, and I was still planning to fly when I packed my pipes for the trip. And so, of course, on a plane, you cannot carry a lighter. And so I didn't carry anything to light the pipe with. I was uh, expecting to just use matches during the trip. So um, I decided not to fly, drove instead, and I left all of my lighters at home. And so I was forced to rely on cheap drugstore lighters during my foray into Alabama, Mississippi. Now, that don't matter to some people, but I felt like a lesser version of myself when I used (laughs) that Bic lighter uh, during my trip. I really, really did not enjoy that. When I see a big lighter, what immediately comes to mind is a chain smoker. That's just the experience that I've had with big lighters and people who use them. Nothing wrong with a big lighter. It gets the job done. I just don't like them. I think that pipe-specific lighters are on the market for a good reason. If you're going to smoke a pipe, get a pipe-specific lighter. I cannot recommend an IM Corona well enough or high enough. That's my favorite lighter. So, <laughs> we've heard of pipe acquisition disorder, PAD. This is a very serious disease that has great impact on one's mind and one's pocketbook. It, but, you know, it's a costly disease. But who cares? <laughs> if you. That's part of the joy of being a pipe smoker is you get to procure different pipes over time. Uh, People do this with all kind of hobbies. Uh, My wife has been getting into uh, spinning her own yarn, and so she she got into that hobby, and it has just exploded. She's got yarn everywhere. This place looks like a textile mill. So it could be worse. There are people who collect cars and things like that you know so you know there are more expensive hobbies <laughs> but there are cheaper ones too so uh what do you do with all the pipes when you collect them there are some serious pipe collectors across the world i mean i have heard of people having upwards of a thousand pipes in their collection some more than that um I personally know several people who have four or five hundred pipes. My collection is in the 200, 250 range right now. And so I don't want my pipes to be resting in a drawer hidden from view. Um, it, in my own library, uh, my pipes are scattered about. You may be able to see that stand over there in the, in the camera. You may be able to see pipes behind me in the camera. But they're scattered all around the study. And um, I, don't, I, I don't keep them in a drawer. There's no specific pipe corner. I've got uh, pipe cabinets, uh, pipe racks, and they are all handmade items. I have, you may have seen them in some of my earlier videos. I have uh, 
these leather pipe uh, racks that hang on the wall, oh, they are just wonderful, wonderful. But I like to see them. I like to walk into my study and see my pipe collection and decide which pipes are suitable for the day's activity and the day's schedule. And I take it very seriously. I take my pipe smoking very seriously. There's nothing that complements a well-stocked library better than a well-stocked pipe cabinet and a pipe collection. They go hand in hand. And so when you have that type of combination, it makes the room feel welcoming. It makes it feel comfortable. And uh, the older I get, there's two things that, that, that matter more and more to me. To be able to offer a safe uh, home for my family and to be able to offer a comfortable home and a comfortable space for my wife and myself as we raise our children and uh, as we uh, continue our wonderful marriage together. A home needs to be comfortable. It needs to be uh, uh, welcoming. It needs to reflect the personality uh, of the people who live there. And so pipe smoking is a big part of our daily household routine. And so we don't hide that. We, we keep it out in public, and it's beautiful. I mean, each pipe is a work of art, and so I want to show them off, and I want to enjoy them, and I want people who come to visit to be able to enjoy them as well. Now, an absolute indispensable item, uh, an ind indispensable accessory for people who are going to travel with pipes is a quality pipe roll. Now, I have several of them. And uh, they're all made out of leather except one. One's made out of canvas. But I really prefer leather when it comes to a pipe roll. I've got pipe rolls made out of deer hide, bison, kangaroo, and, of course, cow. And uh, I've, I've found that deer and cow hide are very supple, pliable, and soft. And that's what you want when you have a, when you have a pipe roll. You don't want the leather to be too rigid. So... I've collected several over the years, but there's, there's one company in particular I will direct your attention to, um, Dark Fired Leather, darkfiredleather.com. And uh, Ed, a good friend of mine, is the man who owns his company. And uh, I've got a couple pieces from him, and his pieces never fail to impress, never fail to impress. Actually, I bought another piece from him uh, a few days ago down in Mississippi. And I really, really enjoy his work. And so we are toying with the idea of a pipe roll collaboration with Ed, with Dark Fired Leather. And so we, we, I've been enjoying these collaborations. We did the Mark Tensky Pipe Cottage uh, Signature Pipe this year. We did uh, Old Home Place uh, Pipe Cottage Tobacco Blend with the Country Squire. And just to top it all off, I think we need to do a collaboration with a pipe roll leather company. And so uh, Ed from Dark Fired Leather is going to help us out with that. More details soon, uh, but that's not what this video is about, not today. But you see, <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you're on a trip and you reach your destination, and you arrive at your destination, isn't it far more exciting to reach for your pipe roll and to pull your pipe out of a wonderful piece of crafted leather? Uh, isn't it better than a plastic bag or a brown paper sack? Those things just don't excite me as much as a wonderfully made leather pipe roll. And this sounds stupid, probably, to a lot of people. It sounds silly. But the world is so full of ugliness. Uh, there's not very much beauty in the way consumer goods are made these days for the most part. You've got... We live in a machine age. There's very little beauty that exists in a machine age. It's, it's, it's pretty dirty. It's pretty nasty. Products are, are not intended to last a lifetime. But most of, I, I can't think of any real accessory that you can buy for pipe smoking that will not last or outlast a lifetime. <laughs> a good, well-made pipe will definitely outlast a, a man's life. A good pipe roll will definitely outlast. Uh, a good lighter, a good tamper will outlast. 
Uh, that's why I don't buy temporary goods for the most part. I don't like buying matches because you constantly have to buy it over and over again. I don't like buying those little uh, big lighters because that's that reminds me of the cigarette world uh, and and the you know cigarettes and matches have, have something in common. It, it's it's a one and done deal. I like to hold things in my hand that will tangibly last. I'll still have this lighter tomorrow and the next day. I'll still have this tamper tomorrow, the next day, years from now. And so that matters to me. It may not matter to some people, but it matters to me. Most people who smoke pipes don't do it out of a sense of need. I mean, need very rarely comes into the equation. I think people smoke pipes because it offers an interesting, exciting, and satisfying activity within a mundane and homogenized modern culture. Everybody's doing the same thing. Everybody, and pipe smoking is uh, not nearly as popular as other hobbies. And so when you, when you smoke a pipe, you are essentially joining a very exclusive community of people. And I like that. I like the fact that pipe smoking is fairly exclusive and not everybody does it. Everybody doesn't need to be a pipe smoker. <laughs> I, I think it, th that things are far more interesting when they're less popular. The more popular uh, a thing becomes, the less likely I will be interested in it. Because usually, if popularity is the result of the use of a product or uh, the development of a particular hobby, it's, I'm generally going to move in the other direction. Not because it's not a worthwhile hobby or a worthwhile product, uh, but because I am not attracted to large communities of people who are all doing the same thing, all marching to the beat of the same drum. Life's more interesting and worthwhile when you, bar when you march to the beat of a different drum. So I think pipe smoking should add beauty to life. Uh, it's not a disgusting habit. It is, in fact, a gentlemanly art. And it has the power, even down to the smallest detail, the smallest accessories, it has the power to add so much beauty to one's life. And so having quality accessories helps, certainly helps uh, augment one's, one's pipe smoking journey. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alan Harrelson with the Pipe Cottage. Time for me to go. Just wanted to make a short video. Uh, I hope and plan to make at least a couple of videos a week from this point forward. Uh, my plan is on Mondays and Thursdays. We'll see if we can keep that running. But until we meet again, this is Alan Harrelson with the Pipe Cottage. Thank you for stopping by.